According to the growing block universe theory of time, the past and present exist and the future does not exist. The present is an objective property, to be compared with a moving spotlight. By the passage of time more of the world comes into being, therefore, the block universe is said to be growing. The growth of the block is supposed to happen in the present, a very thin slice of space-time, where more of space-time is continually coming into being. The growing block view is an alternative to both eternalism and presentism. It is held to be closer to common-sense intuitions than the alternatives. C.D. Broad was a proponent of the theory. A modern defender is Michael Tooley and Peter Forrest. Criticism. Recently several philosophers, David Braddon Mitchell, Craig Bourne and Trenton Merricks have noted that if the growing block view is correct then we have to conclude that we only know whether now is. Now, take Socrates discussing, in the past, with gorges, and at the same time thinking that the discussion is occurring now. According to the growing block view, tense is a real property of the world so his thought is about now, the objective present. He thinks, tenselessly, that his thought is occurring on the edge of being. But we know he is wrong because he is in the past, he doesn't know that now is now. But how can we be sure we are not in the same position? There is nothing special with Socrates. Therefore, we don't know whether now is now. However, some have argued that there is an ontological distinction between the past and the present. For instance, Forrest argues that although there exists a past, it is lifeless and inactive. Consciousness, as well as the flow of time, is not active within the past and can only occur at the boundary of the block universe in which the present exists.